Welcome back to Jessica's Craft Time. My name is Jessica and today we're going to attempt to do a beaded embroidery. Beaded, it's not beaded cross stitch. Beaded, this is what it looks like. It's a turtle with a shell and some coral. So I've got that. I've got my printed canvas. I've got all the beads here, which... I'm going to move as we go. So there's a bit of a key up here. So I thought I would start down the bottom with a yellow, yellow with the orange on the outside, which is number 14. So I have to try and get my beads out. And what I thought is I could put them in here if it works. I'm not a huge baggy person. So let's just sit. Oh, that wasn't good. I just spilt them everywhere. Off to a really, really good start. Let's just put them all in that tray. So we do have a little needle here. Up the top. And I'm just going to use a bit of pair of scissors. A white thread. Hopefully that'll be alright. So, it's just really following, man, that's a tiny needle eye. This will be a bit of an issue trying to get this through here. And I don't think I brought a needle threader out here. That's a really, really tiny eye. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, that, uh, I can't even see, I'll have to get a magnifying glass, but I don't even think that needle's got a hole through it, and I was trying and trying and trying, and I couldn't get my needle, the thread through, so I've just gone and found a beading needle, because you need something quite fine. All right, let's tie a knot in here, I'm guessing one strand is going to be well and truly enough to hold a bead. So I guess we just go up, um, I guess we just go up and down, wherever, somewhere in it. Oh, I almost knocked them all again. All right, bead on. <laughs> no. Okay, so we haven't been off to a very good start. We just spilt the beads everywhere. Let's hope they give us plenty. If not, I'm going to have to be crawling around on the floor out here and now I've knotted my thread to find enough beads. I've just knotted my thread. We're giving up. Today is not the day to be doing this. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I've gone and got myself a sticky mat. So hopefully we won't be knocking the beads off again. Let's start again, take two, and see how we go. All right, let's see if I can find the same hole. Up through the hole, bead onto needle, back down. Let's see if that worked. 
Woohoo! I have a bead. I have a bead. I guess it's meant to sit up like that. Don't know if it's going to sit like that perfectly. No, it's going to just keep falling on its side. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We've got two beads on it. This is really annoying me. Let's fold it under to keep it in its packet. So I guess what we could do is we could work on this one at the same time, which is number 15 by the colour chart. So let's get number 15 without spilling it, <laughs> dropping them everywhere. Oh, I found an escapee bead. Okay, 15. Let's put another tray here. I never normally work with two trays, but I'm worried that I might... Oh, I just spilt them again. So, these roll a lot more every a lot more places than what your drills do for your diamond painting. Just pick them up. All right. So that's going to be that yellowy brown color. And we can do up through here. onto your thread and then back down. You just saw that, didn't you? The whole tray. All right, I will be back soon. Okay, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I work in a garage out here when I film. I don't know how I'm gonna find all those beads. There's so many and they're so small. <sighs> Let's keep going. And I guess I will not be cleaning the floor out here until I have finished doing this project. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be on my hands and knees crawling around under this desk looking for beads to finish this project I do have a small section of carpet on the floor underneath me and then the rest is concrete floors they're gonna end up everywhere I'm gonna have to like make sure none are stuck to my feet as I leave here each day and I'm just gonna have to sit and do this until it's finished now there's no putting this away and coming back to it later because my beads are all over the floor. <laughs> oh, I need a stiff drink already and it's like not even lunchtime. So what have we learnt from this experience? Green boats may not be the best choice to put your beads in. It could completely be user error, which it is. I didn't quite stick it to the mat properly, or my mat needs cleaning, one of the two. And I now have little gold beads everywhere. And I have no idea how many extra beads they give you. If it was diamond painting, I'd be like, that's cool. That's cool. I can order more beads. I can go through my stash to see if I've got some similar. I may have seed beads similar in color. I may not. 
there's no indication on this as to what color they are I will now have to complete all areas with this on maybe today was not the day to start a new project maybe today was the day to sit on the couch and do nothing oh what have you what what craft disasters have you had this is this is pretty pretty good craft disaster while filming on how to do beaded embroidery and I just jab my finger other than the fact that I have spilt my twill my um, beads multiple times and one spectacular time that I don't even know where they've gone. Boy. Yeah, that's right. Um, I kind of like this. The canvas is soft, but not too hard to work on. It's got like a little bit of uh, weight to it. Not weight, um, like a stiffness. It's not completely falling. I'm guessing if you place your beads perfectly, you're not going to see the like, I mean, in diamond painting, you call it training wheels um, on the canvas. At a distance, I don't think you're going to see it. If you look too close up, you're definitely going to see it. I don't think I need to have it in a frame. I think it would be it's going to be fine working without some sort of frame around it I guess a frame gives you a free hand to maybe hold your beads or just don't be a complete uh, spaz like I am um, it's not something I could I think I could easily sit on the couch and do because then you would just end up with beads in your couch. Uh, I think it's something I'd have to sit at a desk or some sort of table to do just because you need to put your beads somewhere and they're kind of not like threads that you can just have sitting next to you. Plus I have a nearly five-year-old that all he'd have to do would jump on the couch and would have a bead disaster again. <sighs> but other than that I'm really quite enjoying this I think the um, colors are probably a little bit hard to follow on the picture there's a lot very similar ones so I think I'm just going to stick with the ones I'm doing and get to know that that's probably the biggest thing I'll have issue trying to work out which one's which because you're going off the color of the inside circle and the outside circle so a canvas that had more than 17 colors um, would might be a little bit harder depending how they're that are labelled on the picture I guess um, it's not like a cross stitch that you're filling every hole it's more like a partial diamond painting the fact that you're doing every section like different sections uh, that's but it's easy to work through. You couldn't use the needle that came with it. It had no hole in it. I'm sure it has no hole in it. I'm going to go and find Mark's magnifying glass when we finish. And see if I can find a hole in it. But I tried. I couldn't even get the um, needle threader. I couldn't even get the needle threader to go through the eye of it. So... If you can't get that through there's no hope in hell that I'm gonna I'm going to be able to 
thread a needle. Um, I, I did read somewhere or it said somewhere that it's best to use like an invisible thread. But I'm using white and I don't think there's an issue with it. I don't think you can really see it. Just a few little bits on the back. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't have a problem whether it's a little bit different when we come to the different coloured beads and whether you'd maybe change your thread to a different colour thread for different beads, whether that would make an impact. It's not something I would do because I'm too lazy. Um, I just have this reel of white thread here that I'm just going to use. Uh, I did think about using an actual beading thread, but I'm like, mm, yeah, no, nah, the white, the white will be fine. Will be fine. So there's lots of yellows and blues and whites in this one. And I'm just slowly working my way around different areas of it. But now that I've got it set up and I haven't spilt a, a bead for a while, I'd probably suggest that you put a few less beads than what I have in my tray, just so that, you know, if you spill it, <laughs> they don't, you don't lose too many. I think even if I was inside, it would be on the floorboards, it would be one hell of a job to try and find all those little tiny beads. That's gone over that one for some reason. Um, yeah, other than that, it's, just patience. It's quite relaxing just seeing it all starting to come together. I mean, you could probably try and turn your beads so that they were all up on their end. Like that, I guess. Would give you a nicer finish. I really don't think I'm going to worry about that. I think I'm just going to let them fall where they fall. Um, I might just do the rest of the white ones here. I am a little bit concerned about me having two colours out because I don't... I know some people work really well with multiple colours out when they're, say, diamond painting. I don't. I don't at all. I get too distracted and I'd forget which ones are which. And all it would take would be, you know, someone coming up to me on my phone ringing or a message coming through and I'd lose my place and lose my colours. This is not hard at the moment because I've only got two colours open out of all the colours and I've got them right sitting in front of me. I think I like the idea of the little storage containers over having them in Ziploc bags. But I know some people with even, say, diamond painting, they work really, they like working out of Ziploc bags. I don't. I'm doing my crystal canvas one out of Ziploc bags, and I, it's not too bad doing it, but... I much prefer to work out of a container. I don't know what it is. Whether it's a little bit neater. Um, I don't have to think as much to find the number. On my containers, I generally put the symbols as well. So I'm not having to refer to the legend. Some people like to refer to the legend. Yeah, the only thing would be trying to decipher the different colours because you've got to look at the outside and the inside. But I think it is printed clearly enough that I'm going to be able to do that fairly easily. 
Um, we might do the inside here. So the back of this is not going to look the prettiest because I'm kind of jumping all over the place. But Not anyone I know is really going to be worried about what the back of, back of something looks like. I'm not entering any sort of CWA or show competition with my artwork. So that is beaded embroidery. Um, if I can find it again, I'll link this kit. Now it did come from the Ukraine, if I remember correctly. I found it on Etsy and it took, being COVID year, it took a very, very long time for it to arrive. Now that's not the sellers. I'm pretty sure it was Etsy I got it off. It's not the seller's fault at all it's just literally that things are not moving around the world like they used to so i did i did wait some time for it but it showed up um you'll pay a little bit more for a beaded embroidery than you will for like an embroidery because you've got all the beads And I suppose you could possibly, I don't know, change your own, say, cross-stitch pattern into a beaded embroidery. Pick out some colours or change it. But that's it. See, my mat, they're not sticking to my mat. I just almost knocked them all again. Now, which one was that? That was that one. So we might just finish up the inside of this little one here. And you've had a bit of an idea of what an embeater in a beaded embroidery kit may look like. This is the first one I've ever done. So everything came in the kit that I needed if the needle worked, with the exception of thread. But if you're a crafty person, you'll have some sort of thread on you. So I do like that everything comes in the in the kit. And that's, yeah. And then as long as you don't spill them everywhere like I just did. Just want to, I've got four, five more to go. Um, I would suggest you work, no, I just undid my thread. I would suggest you work in a section because once you get, um, let me concentrate for two seconds. Once you get a few beads in there, it starts to hide the symbols. So I think I'm definitely going to be working in sections with multiple colors at a time just so that you don't miss the little ones like this little white one here this one here is sort of moved over a bit and there's actually another little spot under there so there's one spot here and then three on the next row under so i think it will be quite difficult to do like all of one color and then come back and do all the next um, I think you'd need to, why do I keep trying to pull that out, pick an object on it and, you know, maybe do all the same colour in that object, say the fish. Maybe do the ones that have a smaller quantity first, so you don't miss ones that need to go in there. That would just be a suggestion I'd have. So you can't really see there's meant to be another one in here and i don't know if we actually need it or not but i'm going to put it in there oh and not through my finger come back here bead i can't afford to lose any more of you so beading in needle will be quite sharp as well not really. So 
so there you go that's the first little section done just finish doing the rest of that shell and that'll be the shell done oh not the shell like the spiral around the edge so there you go i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed my blooper at the start and um we'll see you all next week for another craft demo bye for now